I get so many questions about how I knit and um, questions about ways to make your knitting faster. Um, so I thought I would put together a video just to show you guys how I knit, give you a little more information about it in hopes of maybe helping you figure out how to speed up your knitting. So there are two ways generally to knit. Um, the first way, which you've probably seen more traditionally, or if you um, started knitting, you know, watching videos or reading books, um, it's called what we call throwing or English style knitting, which is when you hold the yarn in your right hand and wrap it over the needle and pull it through with your right hand. And this is a way a lot of people knit. There is nothing wrong with this. A lot of people can knit very quickly this way. Um, however, I cannot. <laughs> I never was able to um, knit English style very quickly. Um, I think a large reason for that is that I am left-handed and it is just much easier for me to hold the yarn in my left hand and knit this way. Um, and one thing I wanted to note that is, you know, there is no right way or wrong way or fast way to knit, right? It is really whatever works for you. Everybody holds the yarn a little differently. Everybody knits their own way. So basically, you just need to figure out what works best for you. Um, if one way is working well and you're curious about trying another way, you know, go for it. See, see if it, see if it works well for you. But um, you know, everybody knits a little differently. The one thing I wanted to say, and, and I'm just going to keep knitting here so you can watch me, is the goal for the main thing you need to remember when you're trying to knit faster, whether you're holding the yarn in your right hand or your left hand, is basically you just want to minimize the movement that you make and keep the movements small because the smaller you make the movements, the more quickly you can knit. If you are, you know, making really large movements with your hands, it's going to be hard to knit the stitches quickly. Um, so just keep that on mind, even if you're trying to knit continental style or knitting um, English style or throwing. So I'm going to just go into a little bit more detail here on how I knit continental. Um, and Basically, and one thing I did wanted to say first is I am using nine millimeter circular needles here and I am knitting with um, Lion Brand Respun Thick and Quick Yarn. When you are really trying to work on, you know, improving your knitting or being more efficient, I really recommend trying to knit with thicker yarn and bigger needles just because it's easier to manipulate the yarn. Um, I actually hold the yarn a little differently when I'm knitting with much thinner yarn, um, but I just wanted to take some time and go a little bit more slowly to show you how I hold the yarn. You know, um, I simply just hold the yarn through my fingers like this. Some people will wrap the yarn. Some people will wrap the yarn around their pinkies. Um, I simply hold my yarn and I hold it usually with my fifth finger and my fourth finger really around it. And again, this is easier to do because the yarn is thicker. It is harder to do when the yarn's thinner. I do tend to wrap my yarn if my hand starts to cramp, um, if I am using thinner yarn. So basically you just need to figure out what feels right to you, um, what feels where you can get you know the best tension. And you also just want to pay attention to making sure your tension is consistent. So I do grab the yarn in my fifth and fourth finger. And um, actually, it is through my third finger too. So I, um, and then I, I loop the yarn over my index finger like this. And it's really my index finger that just slowly catches that needle and pulls it through. And um, this is, you know, basically I barely, barely get that 
yarn over that needle. I don't stick my needle in really far. Um, I, I stick it through like that and I make a quick movement to get this index finger over that back needle and pull it through. So it's really a quick motion and I pull it through. One thing to note, it is easier to slip and drop stitches um, knitting this way. I just, there, it's just easier to have a stitch drop. So basically I'm wrapping and pulling it off kind of at the same time to minimize the time. So basically I pull it through and bring, take it off at the same time. And I am flipping my wrist a little bit back and forth here and getting the yarn up over and through. So um, pull it through and off. I am just going to keep knitting here for a little bit so you can see me do this. I'm going to speed it up to the end here. I'll turn it around and see that's what happens a lot and then I end up just pulling it off. I wouldn't say it happens a lot but it does happen and you just have to be careful and go back and make sure you get that figured out. All right, so I'm flipping the work. I'm going to show you more slowly again here. And I'm usually pretty good about pushing a lot of stitches towards the end of the needle. Um, it just makes it easier um, to keep knitting more quickly when you have a bunch of stitches kind of closer together. So I've got my strand. I kind of keep this third finger, it's, it's over the yarn, but it's not really grasping the yarn um, tightly because I end up, I wish you could see more on the other side, but I end up holding the work really with my, um, with my third finger here. I've got my third finger kind of underneath the knitting needle. And that's really what I'm grabbing the work with. It's funny to verbalize it um, and try to teach you and show you what I'm doing because I, I guess I don't really think about it um, a whole lot. So I've got my yarn. I'm grabbing it with my fifth finger, fourth finger. I've got it wrapped under my third finger, but my third finger is out and really grabbing and holding the work. And then I've got it wrapped around my index finger, you know, close kind of in between my knuckle and my fingernail. And so basically I just pull the yarn, put the right hand needle through, and I guess I am holding it a little bit with my right index finger just to guide it. And um, I do bring my wrist back a little bit and that just helps reduce um, the movement that I need to make with my fingers, if I can do that. So it's just bringing the yarn over and through. Again, I'm still grabbing the work with that third finger. And just moving my wrist and getting that back, getting that index finger in the back to pull the yarn over and through. Um, my finger will get a little stiff sometimes because I am using this finger a lot. I am actually trying to work on not moving this finger so much. I used to really lift it a lot. Um, now I just kind of try to keep it close um, and turn my wrist if I need to get that movement going a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's how I knit. Um, I'm trying to see, think about if there's any other things that I do um, that are tricky, but this is just kind of what works for me. I didn't seek this out intentionally. I just kind of naturally evolved over the years. Um, throwing just didn't work for me. Knitting it with knitting with the yarn in my right hand. But again, I'm left-handed, so I'm used to doing a little bit more with my left hand. You can throw with your right hand and just kind of figure out ways to minimize the throw. Um, there are certainly many people who knit English style or throw who knit very quickly. Um, 
So, um, yeah, and I guess I am using my right index finger to kind of push that yarn down as I go, not all the time. Um, but I will just knit back one more time to show you how I knit. And again, I would definitely try to practice with thicker yarn and bigger needles just so you can manipulate things a little bit more easily. Um, so I'm just pushing. And it, I mean, you know, you're going to just have to figure out what feels comfortable for you. Holding the yarn in your left hand might not work for you, and that's okay. And some people just simply knit slower and faster than others. Everybody knits at different speeds. You just have to figure out what works well for you. All right, so there is a little more information about how I knit. Um, so I hope that helps.